Hi, everyone. Another minute or so on Tesla's master plan for an all-renewable future. I wrote about this last week on my Substack, robertbryce.substack.com, and underscored the problems with battery storage because this master plan they, that Tesla lays out uh, would require something like 240 terawatt hours of storage. That is just a massive amount of storage. Would require all of the battery output from all of Tesla's gigafactories for something more than 900 years. Okay, so that's one problem. But today I'm going to talk about the land use issue. Now, before I go further, renewable energy promoters always say, oh, it's not that much land. Won't take that much land. We'll just put it out there, you know, in flyover country. Well, here's the reality. And I document this in the Renewable Rejection Database, which of course is on my website, robertbryce.com, that from Maine to Hawaii, local communities are rejecting wind and solar projects. They don't want these projects in their neighborhoods, and I don't blame them. Okay, so what's the problem with the master plan? Well, again, like all these other certain scenarios, they vastly understate the amount of land that's required. I did the calculations. Now, Tesla says it will require about, oh, one, what was it, 125,000 square miles of land. That's not insignificant. It's a land area the size of New Mexico. But if you use numbers that uh, came that Princeton University published last year and you combine it with what Tesla is proposing, the reality is that there are 30 terawatts of new generation from solar and wind would require a land area of 1.2 million square miles. That's a land area that's seven times the size of the state of California. Imagine putting seven Californias of wind turbines and solar panels across the United States. Now, that is just a massive land area. It is simply not going to happen. And yet, this is considered ser a serious proposal by Tesla, which is a massive corporation worth more than $500 billion. Land use is always the challenge for any kind of energy infrastructure, and it's particularly true when you're trying to do renewables, which require a lot of land. I'll stop there. Follow me on Substack, would you? Robertbryce.substack.com. Thanks a lot. See ya.